Nick, obviously we've got St Johnston this weekend, but how difficult has the last two weeks been, obviously building up to this one? Yeah, it was a difficult few days after after the Motherwell game and, and really it was, you know, reflecting on the disappointment of, of missing out on the top six and, and when we you know, when we spoke about that it was yeah it was looking over the, the course of the season and too many games, you know, we were in winning positions. We lost twelve points from, from winning positions and yeah, to concede in, in the manner that we did and you know in the ninety fourth minute with the only shot on target that Motherwell had and that to condemn us to you know, to, to not making the top six was yeah, was really hard to take, but um, a lot of frustration, um, you know, a lot of upset and, and feeling that we let the fans down, you know, we let ourselves down. Um, but also knowing that, yeah, we have to move forward now and um, we have to, you know, look at the next five games as an opportunity to, to finish the season strong um, and, and, yeah, just, just move forward. But, yeah, difficult couple of weeks. Um, but this week, preparing for the St. Johnson game, it's, it's been good. The mood's been good and, yeah, we know that we, uh, you know, we, we need to put in some good performances and, and, and get some results to, to finish the season on a high. Yeah, has that, has that been the motivation for the players for these bottom six games, to make sure that we carry some kind of momentum into next year? Yeah, for sure. And then, you know, when we talk about reviewing and looking over the season, uh, there's a lot of, you know, a lot, a lot of stats and, and metrics that are, are really positive. Um, but yeah, that ultimately doesn't matter because, you know, the results um, will we'll, we'll, we'll paper over them. And, and yeah, unfortunately, you know, we, uh, yeah, we, we lost too many points from games that we shouldn't have done. Um, and, and that's, yeah, that's give us an opportunity moving forward the next five games to make sure that, you know, that, that we work really hard on that. And, we know that there's going to be a lot of eyes on us and, and there's pressure and expectation on this club. There's always a lot of noise. And, and yeah, we, uh, we know that we have to cope with that and, 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 and play, with that, play with that pressure because yeah, there's five games and still teams fighting for stuff um, at both ends of, of the league. But for us, it's about you know, just concentrating on ourselves and making sure that we can finish and, and put in good performances and, and get some momentum, momentum building f for next season. Yeah, St Johnston obviously are one of those teams that are, are fighting for something at, at this point in the season. It'll be a difficult place to go on Saturday. Yeah, a difficult place to go. They're a team that are resilient. You know, they put a lot of men behind the ball, and we played them a couple of weeks ago. And, and unfortunately, that result really did affect our, our standing uh, come the end of the season. But it's not going to be an easy game, as you mentioned. They're fighting for for their lives, but yeah, we have to go there and, and, and try and win the game, which we try to do um, every week. And um, yeah, we have to we have to go there um, with the right mindset. Yeah, just finally then, in, in terms of team news, um, could we expect anyone back? Um, Luke Amos is back in, in training, probably uh, has a chance for the weekend. Uh, Dylan Vente has been back training uh, the last couple of weeks, so again, uh, back involved as he was last weekend. Um, other than that, I think, yeah, I think that's pretty much the same as, as a squad last week, but um, yeah, we prepared well and we'll go to the game tomorrow. And, Hopefully we can um, yeah, we can put in a good performance. Perfect. Good luck this weekend. Cheers. Thank you.